Yesterday, we saw that United is preparing to, well, they did announce they lost $2.1 billion in the first quarter, and it's expected to get worse. But this morning, the CEO of JetBlue actually said he thinks that for his airline, things may have actually bottomed out. We want to broaden this discussion and invite into the program Joel Peterson, who is JetBlue's chairman and also the author of the book, Entrepreneurial Leadership. It's good to have you here, Joel. Thank you for joining us on Yahoo Finance. Nice to be with you, Adam. Uh, before we start to get into the book, because you outline things that CEOs and C-suite folk and entrepreneurs can do in a crisis like this, I just got to ask you, when the CEO this morning from JetBlue talked about looking forward, uh, flying only 10 to 15 percent of your schedule through perhaps the end of June, how do you see this airline and the others, for that matter, getting back to the kind of load factors we knew before COVID-19? Well, we don't know how long it'll take. Right now, we're faced with decisions that I would call bad or worse. Um, and so we're everybody's working on survival and maintaining our covenant with customers. This is the safest form of travel. And there's a new element of safety that's been added to our uh, suite of things that we have to do. Uh, we've got to make sure that they're safe from a health standpoint. Um, Julie here. So as you look at this crisis, you've been the chairman of JetBlue for 12 years. How does this, I mean, the, the airline industry has been highly cyclical, although one could argue this is the most dire challenge to have faced it. How does it compare in the past and what lessons has the industry learned in the past that it can apply to now? Or is this so unprecedented that you just have to throw out anything that's happened before? I think this is relatively unprecedented. I think 9-11 gave us some taste of this, uh, but it is, it's always been a highly leveraged industry. It's been regulated and uh, it really demands trust between passengers and the carriers. And uh, so re restoring that, making sure that customers feel safe traveling is really the same drill. And we just don't know how long it's gonna to take to restore that. Joel, I'm going to preface this question by saying we, we've had a number of guests on over the last few weeks who have come on to say that the billions that's being spent to bail out some of the airlines could be better spent going to everyday Americans and small businesses. And the argument being here that airlines are going to find a way to survive. And so I'm wondering how you address that kind of criticism. You know, why should JetBlue get a bailout? Well, largely the money is going to the employees. So if you really think about it, it's it's really being uh, sent to JetBlue so we don't furlough employees. Otherwise, we would just furlough employees. You could have a shutdown of the whole airline industry, and the question would be, how long would it take to rebuild that? How long would it take to get back to normal? And so I think it is really sort of uh, making sure that the airlines stay in business and can restore their uh, schedules. You talk about in your book that job one is survival, and that's often a question of liquidity. It seems for the short term, the liquidity issue has been, you know, addressed to get us through September 30th. But on October 1st, 23,000 JetBlue employees are going to wonder what happens next. Can you give them any insight that the board or the C-suite has been talking about? And how would an entrepreneur address that kind of issue? It's almost like having the sword of Damocles over your head. It is. And I think uh, that's, that's the right question to ask. Uh, we think it is only a Band-Aid and that we really have to figure out new ways of approaching things. And so how can we make people feel safe flying? That may be that we have to uh, separate people a little bit more. There'll be good news for customers. There'll be more room on uh, flights. Uh, check their temperatures. Make sure that flight attendants can uh, use masks and gloves uh, and take longer to sanitize planes. Uh, make sure that our air filtration systems are state of the art. So there are a bunch of things. We all got used to uh, the uh, post 9-11 security elements. And I think the public will get used to the things that we have to do to make sure that the flying is safe. Uh, I was reading that you are going to be retiring from the board in May of 2020. Any chance that you would stick on because the airline is in a crisis situation and people with experience are going to be needed to help get through this? Well, I would do whatever JetBlue uh, asked me to do, but we've got a new chairman that's uh, set to come on board who's terrific, and he's been on the board for a long period of time. I set this up uh, when I first came on the board that there was a forced retirement age, and I would be the first to go, 
And I think it's good governance and I think it's wise. And so I'm not at all worried about JetBlue needing me. And this last question for you, as I was listening to the CEO this morning and looking at the numbers, JetBlue is going to get just under a billion dollars in the payroll grant from Treasury, but also in the low interest loan. But the, hasn't, the airline hasn't decided if it will uh, actually access the loans from Treasury, the low interest loans. Could the airline, which, you know, you, you lined up a billion dollars in credit on your own, could the airline make it without the low interest loan from Treasury? Well, I don't want to make news uh, for JetBlue here. We're still talking about that as a board, and so I I'm not going to make news on that. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.